Hey, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> How goes it? All right, all right. How are you? I'm good. Yeah. What, so. an, what, a, what an interesting office you have there. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, I have windows behind me, so I have the curtains. And then um, sometimes I decorate the background. And this is is just the usual <laughs> for the most part. <laughs> that's, nice, a great, nice. that's a great background you have too. Is that your art? Yep, yeah. It's okay. a typography illustration. Oh, very nice. That's cool. Well, it's finally nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, finally. <laughs> nice yeah. to meet you too. <laughs> All right. Well, I just, um, we're just going to chat and um i'll have some questions but like i said there's nothing set uh no mm -hmm. no set questions we're just going to talk about what you do your work what you want to promote and um just want to be sure i mentioned what you want me to mention i noticed that you have some books coming out the weeping yes Sci yeah so the weeping, I'll, the weeping sorry <laughs> the weeping silence and uh, two books right and k uh, yeah, no case for next year. I mean, 2023. So, weeping oh, okay. silences. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna. I won't mention K. That's great. And do you want me to mention your publisher? Or are you self-publishing? Uh, the weeping silence. Uh, I think that in the end will be self-published. Okay. Because yeah, I'm not waiting anymore for them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So that's mostly what it's going to be. I'm just going to ask you about those individual things and then wherever the conversation takes us from there, it's not live. No so, um, yeah, but I don't do a lot of editing. So, um, I'll like edit this part out and that's probably about it. And so at the beginning, I'll just introduce you and then I'm going to ask you what we're drinking and you can Describe what we're drinking, but you can't use <laughs> you can't use brand names. So <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you could describe it in any other way you want. <laughs> and yeah, that's about it. So um, let me do one more thing. Sorry, I'll be right back. Yep. <clears throat> okay, I'll introduce us now. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jude Madelich Hall, and with me this evening is Kosti Gurgu. Did I pronounce that right? Okay. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I, I meant to ask you before. I'll do it again. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jude Madelich Hall, and this is Titles, Talk, and Tipples. My guest this evening is Kosti Gurgu, a digital designer, an illustrator, and an author. He's written... Uh, I'll edit that. <laughs> He's the author of Recipiarium that has been, uh, sorry, <laughs> this, is a, this is always the fun part. I always mess up at this part. <laughs> oh, I can't think of what I was going to say. It was about China, that great um, quote by, uh, that compared you to China Mayville. I thought that was really interesting. Oh. That's what I was going to so say. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll try that again. <laughs> He's the author of Recipiarium, which has been compared to China Mayville. So China Mayville, move over. Here comes Kosti Gurgu. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's very good to be here. <laughs> yeah, it's great to have you here. Uh, so what are we drinking this evening? So, uh, okay, no brands. This evening we're drinking <laughs> uh, hard liquor. Uh, it's something French. Uh, flavor is orange. Something they used to drink a lot in the 19th century. Ah, all right. So yeah. that's a great description. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> drink to that. So one... one um, software that I think writers would be interested in that I worked on uh, is called Asengana. Um, and it's a writing software. Mm -hmm. So basically, I was, um, I was at a convention uh, and I was having a, uh, a panel on uh, structure, literary structure. Um, and after the panel, one of the 
uh, attendees came to me and said, okay, um, I'm interested in what you're saying, in, you know, your, your knowledge in literary structure. I want to create a software uh, and use that knowledge. Uh, can you help me? And I said, wow, I'm also a user experience designer, so <laughs> I can help <laughs> you even more. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we, we created this uh, software where um, a, a writer can, if they want, they can just write their novel, their stories, their short stories, as, you know, like you're using Word, but if they want more, um, they can create structure, they can use uh, the structure that we put in place in the software oh. and, stru and structure the novel so that, uh, because, yeah, for a short story, it, it's, it's a short story, but if, you, if you're writing a novel, a lot of writers struggle with the, you know, the middle part mm -hmm. where you can have the belly. Um, if you structure it from, you know, if you plot it in advance, uh, then you can avoid that kind of problem. You can, you know exactly you're going from point to point, you know, like important points in the structure, in the plot. Uh, oh, okay. and, and therefore you can control um, exactly how, how much you're writing for each part so oh, that you don't, cool. you don't have problems. You don't, you don't get stuck in the middle <laughs> and say, okay, what, wh what now? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's great. And that's this, a, oh, go ahead. No. Oh, no. Sorry. Sorry. This, oh. this is a, so it's it's a it's a basically it's a, pro, it's a project management uh, software for writers. Okay. Oh, yeah. that, wow! So it must really help with like writer's block. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. With with that software, you cannot have a writer's block. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> you hear that, writers? No writer's block ever. <laughs> no writer's block. Unle <laughs> unless you hit a writer's block at the at the level of a scene, you know. Like, right. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what's going on in this scene. <laughs> then, right. <yeah. laughs> so you've, if I remember correctly, you've done a cartoon, right? Like of an, an alien cartoon. Um, I'm searching my memory because it's been a while yeah. since I saw something. It's, I, I've been, um, basically, I, I went to uh, school to learn how to, uh, you know, draw, draw um, graphic novels. Mm -hmm. uh, I started a graphic novel there. I have the pay, the cover and three or four pages. And then I realized that it's so much work doing a cartoon, <laughs> <laughs> doing a, a graphic novel. <laughs> <laughs> and then this right yeah. here is your... It's the cover for Recipiarium. Recipiarium, which was your first novel. Yeah. My first oh. novel. Um, oh, there we go. Pub published. Yeah, that's the Romanian version. Mm -hmm. uh, it was uh, published in 2006. Uh, basically, it was written. So the, the novel was initially written um, in, I think, 1996. And, and then I waited a long time to actually uh, sell it because it, the premise, what I did in the novel, breaks a, an unwritten rule of the publishing uh, establishment. I didn't know about that. That was the reason I wrote it like that, because I, uh, I, I thought it's interesting. Nobody has done that before. Uh, and I said, I'd, I'll be the first one. And then somebody explained to me why nobody has done it before. Uh, and I was, oh, OK. So it took me a long time to uh, get it published even in Romania and here as well, uh, until I got some, um, you know, uh, publishers that were open-minded and understood exactly what, what I was trying to do. So basically the, the, the unwritten rule is that you don't write um, a novel, you can write a short story, but not a novel, that kind of lens, in an alien world with alien characters, no human uh, point of view. Oh. So alien point, alien point of view in an alien world, uh, because they say being an alien world, it would be so strange that nobody will understand what's going on. Mm -hmm. So uh, they, they don't have a market for it. So that's kind oh, of I the see. reason behind it, why, why you don't do it. But that's, that's, um, that's wrong because we have like different types of intelligence. It's the uh, mind, the intelligence of the mind, which is uh, uh, the reason 
And then we have uh, the emotional intelligence, which is the heart. 